Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking animated floor effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to import our footage. Now it's very easy to do, all we have to do is go to File Import and now we have our footage in here. I've just downloaded this stock clip from pexels.com and the link will be in the description. Then drag your footage to the timeline. Now this is a little bit too long so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it at about 10 seconds. So we just move that area over here and then we right click and go trim comp to work area and now we have a comp that's 10 seconds in length. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to separate the car from the background. That's quite easy to do. All we're going to do is duplicate that layer and then we're going to hit this roto brush tool up here. And once you hit that tool, you double click on this to open up this layer. And now you're in the roto brush settings. A pro tip, if you hold command on your Mac and drag your left mouse button and click it and drag it up and down, you can change the brush size of the roto brush. So that's pretty cool. So now all you need to do is you just need to kind of drag around your car and you can see what's happening there. And any bits that you miss, you can just keep adding to it like that. So you can zoom in as well, you know, for example, if we wanna get that. Now when this happens, when it spills over, all you have to do is hold option and then you can remove bits and pieces from there. So go around your object and make it as perfect as possible. Cool, so now once you're happy with your outline, then all you have to do is hit this button freeze and let After Effects do its work. Cool, so now that's done, that's nicely roto brushed out. So all we have to do is go back to the original layer and we need to go to the bottom clip down here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to track and stabilize and we're gonna go to track camera. And so now we're gonna add a camera tracker to this and you can see it's initializing up here Cool, so now the 3D camera tracker has done its job and all these like little points are on the clip now. So what we wanna do is we wanna find the right perspective. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna circle around, you know, all of these points and now it's got that perspective for underneath the car. So that's exactly what I'm looking for. So all I need to do is now just right click and go create solid and camera. And now we've got a solid in there as well so we've got that up here so once we have our roto brushed um car out we're just going to put that on the top layer over here cool so now once we've done that we just need to change the size of this solid so i'm just going to increase the scale a bit until i can actually see it a bit better and then i'm just going to draw it out and just bring it out until it's something like that now if you want to change any of the you know the angles or anything like that you can move this around so i'll do something like that and i'll just bring it down slightly till it's about something like that cool so now that i've got that now we're going to pre-compose those two layers so if i go to layer pre-compose and then if i call it track and now I've got that. So if I double click that pre-comp, now I've got that area here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some effects onto this uh, solid. So the first effect that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add some radio waves, all right? And you can see what's happening there. So that looks already pretty cool, but we're gonna change up a few settings. So we're gonna start with the fade in time. We're gonna bring that to 2.6. We're gonna change the color. So I'm just going to color hunt and I'm just gonna pick this color palette so I'm just gonna put that in there. All right, so now it's a bit lighter blue. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some turbulent displays to this. All right, and so I'm just gonna change up a few settings. The amount, I'm just gonna bump it up to about 580. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some wave warp to this as well. And I'm gonna change a few settings over here. The height is going to be six. The width is going to be 57 and the direction is going to be in 60 degrees. And so now it's a little bit hard to see, but now we've got this cool kind of wavy kind of blobby effect, which is happening uh, in there as well, which is pretty nice. So now if we go back to our original comp, you can see it on the floor. And now we just have to add some more effects to it as well. So the first effect that I'm gonna add in here is I'm gonna add some glow and I'm just gonna bump up the radius to about 60. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. But this time I'm going to bring down the threshold to about, let's say, 30%. And then you can play around with some of the other settings as well. So I'm going to bring the glow radius to about 80 as well. And so now I've got this cool kind of glow on there as well. So that's looking pretty cool. That's the effect pretty much done. But now we just have to do a few other things. So on the background layer, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some curves in here. And this will kind of darken the floor a bit. But I also want the sky to be a little bit lighter. So I'm creating an S bend like that. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a adjustment layer and I'm going to put that right at the top. So in here, I'm just going to add some noise and we'll bump that up to about 10%. So there's a little bit of noise and grain on that clip. And the final effect that I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my track pre-comp and I'm just going to add some curves in here as well. And so what I want to do is I just want to bump it up slightly. So if I just play around with some of these you know settings over here you can really intensify the glow and that's about it really so that's how you create an animated floor effect using adobe after effects um i hope you guys learned something thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial